Hello guys, what is up? It is the Citrus Panda here today, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the first episode of my new series for Assassin's Creed Revelations, Attempting Assassination. Hopefully this will give you some tips and tricks and insight on how to become a better overall player. First I'm going to show you the ring around the rosy technique. Now, normally, this won't work. It only works on idiots. You run around a pillar, then run through chase breaker gates. Then you just, you know, walk, run up the stairs, go into a crowd, and the person usually just runs past. And boom. That was easy. Some people are smarter, and they like to kill you when they, when you try to stun. Congratulations on being smarter than that person who just died. Now other times, you just completely face palm, and you kill an innocent civilian, you press square on accident, and then, you know, you kind of just like, no, you're living with the guilt of killing somebody, but all of a sudden, you see somebody climbing the rooftops, and they look completely conspicuous, so you do the logical thing and throw a knife at their feet, they fall, then your teammate is just an idiot and kills them for you, because, you know, that's what teammates are for, they just steal your kills all the time. So then, all of a sudden, Mrs. Slaps a lot comes up behind you and boom, hits you in the back of the face, slaps you, silly, and then in your rage, you kick some dead guy, thinking that it will help you. It won't. Now, sometimes you just talk in with a group of friends. You know, you then you see someone uh, looking mean walking by, so you want to punch them in the face, but then you got to punch them, and then they, you know they stab you, and then. You know, they, you know it, it just doesn't go down very well. So don't ever try to t chase a hunter. Not gonna go, not gonna go very well. Also, don't try contesting a kill when they're up on a rooftop. It's not gonna work either. Yeah. So some people like playing with knives, throwing knives, regular knives, just knives in general. Don't mess with those kind of people. Other times you get killed by invisible forces. Now this is how you wanna play the game. You want to stab people in the stomach. Then after you stab people in the stomach, you want to kill people up on the rooftop. Now, even if your kill gets contested, who cares? Then after you kill people on the rooftop, you want to be like a tiger and attack from above. Now, tigers don't attack from above, but you get my you get my point. You hit people in the back of the neck to knock them out and then run away. Also, kill people who stand up from benches. They don't deserve to live. Some people in this game are just stupid. You can hit them and then run as fast as you can behind cover. Now in my case, I just jogged casually over there, but you should probably run. Then once they run around the corner, you hit them again, and boom. Most people won't actually do that, but some people, that person was an exception. So, you know, you can punch people in the face and then run upstairs. And then since you're feeling like you're on the top of the world, you can kind of gloat about your victory. You know, you don't need to hide. You can just kind of stay in there because, you know, you don't need to hide yet. But then eventually you should say, you know, I should probably be hiding because, you know, I'm probably going to get killed. So once you think the coast is clear to celebrate your victory, you can just kind of walk out of there and then hit an innocent civilian in the back of the face. And then you can hit the other person, stun them, do a front flip somersault. Boom, you're done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Attempting Assassination. See ya.